All right, what up, what up, what up? What's good, what's good? What's popping? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good, what's good? Oh, shit, hold on, hold what's on. Popping? Hold on, hold on. on. Let me turn down that so you guys can hear me right. But we know the, 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 audio's, the audio's looking good. It's crisp. What's going on, Elroy Jetson, Justin Bing? Who else up in here? Aaron B, what up? AT, what's good? Said choosing signals versus cold approach versus hot approach versus warm approach. <laughs> All the approaches. All of them. So what's good, Chizzy City? Hey, man, what's going on? Unique 79, what's good? Oh, Johnny in the building. What's popping? What's popping? So I might have uh, Miles come on. EO might jump on later. Uh, K Zag and might jump on. Who knows? We'll see, we'll see what's popping with, with with everything going on. Man, feed me more X. I'm not making you a mod. You be trolling. You got you got to stop trolling for for two months straight, and then I'll make you a mod. What up, uh, Dust Duchess Ross in the building? Nate Francis was good. Was good. You feel me? Make sure you guys get this book, man. This book right here. If you do not have this book, you're slipping. If you do not go to mislocario.com to get this book, get the ebook, hard copy, or audio book, you are slipping. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure you guys get that. Also, make sure you guys hit the like button when you come in. Hit that like button. We got 45 people watching right at this moment. We need to see 45 likes. And make sure you guys hit that. Donate button at the top, I pinned it at the top of the chat. So make sure you guys hit that donate button. So how much for the book? So the book right here, I think it's what uh forty nine dollars or something like that, or yeah. So it's about uh about forty some dollars. But you can see all the prices on online. I know the the audio book is ninety seven dollars and the ebook is twenty seven dollars. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure you guys check that out. You feel what I mean? What up, Nez? We got in the building. Entrepreneurial King was good. Aqua Dragon in the building. What up? What's good? So choosing signals versus cold approach, man. Like this is this is one of my this is one of my favorite topics, man. This is one of my favorite topics. Now, some of you, some of you know where I stand on this topic. But I want to I want to go a little bit more in when uh you know when I talk about this, right? So you have some people who um you know adhere to just waiting for choosing signals before you approach a girl or whatever. You know, you have some people who say choosing signals are beta, right? Or I mean not choosing signals, cold approaching is beta. That's what they'll say. Um, you have some people that say cold approaching is a waste of time. You have people saying that choosing signals uh, is not going to really do anything for you. Now, see, the thing is this. Um, both ways can get your results. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, waiting to approach a woman uh, and waiting for the choosing signals, I should say, before you approach the woman can work in certain situations, right? Right. And cold approaching will work in certain situations. But the thing that people got to understand is, is that cold approaching is always, and I say always in bold capital letters, cold approaching is always going to get you more results faster and just get you more results in general, period. Now, you can take advantage of choosing signals, but you have to understand that cold approaching is going to always, not sometimes, not once in a blue, not once every five seconds, you know, you know, whatever, it's always going to yield you more results just based off of the fact that you are the one in control when it comes to cold approaching. You feel what I'm saying? 
feed me more X. You said if you're a 10 out of 10, you don't need to cold approach a chick. They'll stand. What do you say? Hold on. You said they'll stand and stare at you uh, and, and come to you. Interesting. Okay, so if you're saying you're a 10 out of 10, right? And a chick is going to, um, you know, just stand there and stare at you and wait for you to come, right? Let's say you do, let's say that does happen. Let's say you do come to the girl who's throwing you choosing signals, right? What happens when you open your mouth and she doesn't like the sound of your voice? Or what happens if you you talk to her, but you don't know how to talk? Ultra Gold Chain, I'm people call up soon. So the thing is, again, and, and we talked about this before, but I, I want I want guys to 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 understand the dynamics of what each mean and what all this is about. Is that let's start with choosing signals, and then I'll go to the cold approach. Now, I for one personally do not agree with any man waiting for choosing signals. Now, with that said, if you're getting choosing signals, take advantage of it. But I totally disagree with only approaching a woman who throws you choosing signals. You understand? Mars, don't be so rich and you acquire about a consultation. Uh, just email me at askmrlocario at gmail. Hit me up at askmrlocario at gmail. All right? Um, yeah, so the thing, is with, the thing is with choosing signals is you're going to have a thing where if you're just waiting on that, it's going to dramatically make your success rate slower and harder. You understand? It's going to make it slower and harder. Because the thing you got to understand is, is that a lot of choosing signals are surface level things, meaning that there's still layers that go from choosing signals to actually having sex with a woman in bed. You understand? So what I mean is this. Let's say you meet a girl and she's throwing you choosing signals and you approach her, but then you find out she was just throwing you choosing signals because she wanted you to buy her a drink. Right? What up, King Ramses? What happens if you was a chick stony choosing signals and you go up and approach her and you talk to her, but then you you get her number, you try to make something happen, you find out that she's just a big time waster, right? And on top of that, what happens is, is that choosing signals does not happen often enough, you understand, for you to rely on it. And I've talked about this before. It does not happen often enough. And most dudes be lying on the internet talking about, yo, I get choosing signals all the time. No, you don't. No, you don't. You do not get choosing signals all the time. It ain't happening. Sorry to tell you. Any dude who's saying they get choosing signals consistently, right? 99.99% of guys are lying when they say that. You understand what I'm saying? They're lying. And, and what do I mean by all the time? What do I mean by all the time? Think about the frequency at which you think about sex or when you're outside, let's say in the street or at the club or uh, you know at a bar. So let's say you go to a bar and you see 10 girls in there you like, are you getting this, the equivalent amount of women throwing you choosing signals? So you see a bar, you go to a bar, you get 10 chicks, you see 10 chicks that you think are hot that you would talk to. Are you getting 10 women throwing you choosing signals? It doesn't even have to be those 10 exact women, but are you getting 10 women throwing you choosing signals? If you're out with your... uh friends 
and y'all are, you know, having a night or whatever, y'all going out, chilling or whatever. And let's say you saw 50 women within that night who you would have talked to or you wanted to get, you know, holler at or whatever. Is the equivalent choosing signals happening to you? You understand? Are you getting the same equivalent of choosing signals as the same amount of your desire to want to talk to the girls or, or for the girls that want to fuck with you? I mean, the girls that you want to fuck with? Is that happening? And for most guys, it's no. You understand? For most guys, it's no. And so what happens is, is that if you are waiting just for choosing signals, right? Most dudes are going to be waiting for a long time because they're not going to get it. Dudes who do get it are going to get it in small doses. You understand what I'm saying? In small doses. Yo, My up, nigga bro? K Zagan, what up? What up, bro? What's going on, fam? Chilling, man. Chilling. What's the deal? What's the deal? So we talking about choosing signals versus cold approach. Yeah. And 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 basically what I was saying, because I was I was starting out with the choosing signals, and I was saying that a lot of guys on the internet be lying about getting choosing signals all the time. So I, I see this argument where they say, Well, I'm gonna just wait for choosing signals because I get choosing signals all the time. Now the simplest way I say that you could tell these guys are lying is because if they were getting choosing signals all the time, there would be no need for them to watch any of these videos. Yep. You understand what I'm saying? Like, yep. it's that simple. It's that simple. Because if you were getting that many choosing signals, then let's say if you, if you was getting 20 girls a day, mm. just sending you obvious, they just like, and you know, the most obvious choosing signals is a chick checking you out. There's other ones too, but you know, we ain't got to get into all that. But let's say the most yeah. obvious shit is a chick is checking you out. If you had 20 to 25 girls checking you out a day, and, and let's say that that actually meant that they were interested because a chick could still choose you and not be, you know, throw you choosing signals and not be interested in you in the long term or whatever to get sex. But okay. let's say, take an argument, you got 20 to 25 girls choosing you a day okay. and uh, these girls want to have sex with you, right? So why would you even need... <laughs> to to be watching any of these videos, you have to be all. too busy. You'd be too right. busy tending to them, tending to shoot the signals and shit. Right, exactly. And then what? Then what? What that would mean is, is that there would actually be no need or no use for uh you to really learn game uh past just hooking up because you would right. have so many options of women trying to just throw the pussy at you Fast. without you having to do nothing. You Fast. see what I'm saying? But what, what's your thoughts on all that, that shit? Well, you know, I made a video talking about this shit. These niggas ain't waiting for choosing signals. These niggas is giving choosing signals, bro. Facts. That's what Facts. these niggas is doing. Because the, what these niggas do, they'll see a woman that they are interested in, and mm -hmm. they'll try to walk in her vicinity uh -huh. and, and, and try to get that woman to notice them. Right. And then when that woman looks up at them for more than 2.3 seconds, they'll be mm -hmm. like, ah, that, I got her. Let mm -hmm. me go ahead and holler. So mm -hmm. what it is, these niggas is really scoping out women and they're giving these women choosing signals. Right. Hoping they get something back. Right. Right. That's what, and, and 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 that's the that's the crazy thing is that see what also happens is this. There's a there's a there's a naive thought pattern that men have when they're actually not out there doing things. So yeah. let's say for example, you might have a a guy uh who is let's say he's like 20 21 22 years old. And he's not really out here in the field like that. He's not really, uh, you know, out here talking to women. He's not going to parties, he's not going to events, not going to clubs, not going to bar, nothing. He's hardly doing this shit. Um, so what happens is, is that he'll go, he'll, he'll fucking watch some videos that say, yo, don't, don't approach girls unless they throw you choosing signals or is beta to approach girls and cold approaching is waste time and all this other stuff right now, because he has no experience he thinks this is the right way to go. And so because he has no experience, he's going to say, well, you know what? I'm just going to wait for choosing signals before I approach a girl. But because he's not really out ever or hardly, he never gets into the real life experience to realize that it's not happening that often. He thinks it might happen often based off of what he's hearing on the Internet. But in real life, if he used to go out, he may go out actually one night with his boys and he, he might not get any choosing signals. 
You know what I'm saying? So then, so then he's just gonna. What is he gonna do? He's just gonna not approach the girl because he's not getting. You see what I mean? And then, so when that reality hits him, yep. Yep. he's gonna be like, "Well, maybe I gotta, you know, uh, get my money up, or maybe I gotta look better, or maybe I gotta get on my purpose, and all this other shit." And then that's gonna make the girls th- throw the signals at me. You know what I'm saying? Which is which is bullshit, bro. As a matter of fact, speaking of that, that's why niggas be on that name brand clothes shit, man. You know, if I get right. fire mm-hmm. clothes. Then chicks will notice me. If I wear a bunch of fucking jewelry, mm. you know what I'm saying, looking like Mr. T out this bitch, maybe chicks will notice me. Or if I get a flyer whip and mm. chicks see me in that car, right. they'll notice me and I'll get more play. And what guys have to understand, women are not sexually attracted to what you got on. Right. They're not sexually attracted to your watch. Mm. <laughs> They're not sexually attracted <laughs> to your car. Right. Now, they can appreciate if the shit looks visually nice. They might be like, oh, well, he, has a, he has a nice car, but that's where it stops. Right. Because they don't give a fuck about your car. What mm-hmm. guys have to understand is women in your dating pool make just as much money, if not more money than you, and they can buy all the shit you can buy. Mm-hmm. So you're not really impressing nobody with that shit. Right. And, and what guys fail to understand, okay, let's say for the sake of argument, two chicks are looking at you, smiling at you, winking at you, all that good shit. You still got to talk. Right. You exactly. still got to talk. And that's where the rubber meets the road. Mm-hmm. Once you open your mouth, okay, do you know how to socially interact with women? Do you have verbal game? Just because a woman looks at you, the pussy is not guaranteed. You mm-hmm. still got to go holler at her. Right. So mm-hmm. to dudes on that choosing signal shit, and to me, again, it's it's a defensive mechanism where dudes, dudes literally feel like, well, if I choose, if I wait for choosing signals versus code approaching, that's going to minimize the chance of rejection. And all I want to know is show me proof. Show, show me some studies you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Some proof, documented proof, where if you just code approach, where you're gonna fail more times than if you just wait for a chick to look at you. There, right. there is no data to support that. Right, right. What up, Miles? What's going on, bro? What up? What up, fam? What up? What up, what up Zach? What up, Lucario? What's popping? So yeah, so we talking about you know the choosing signals versus the cold approach again, and and so one of the things I was saying is is that a lot of dudes. Hold on, we ain't gonna take calls yet. We ain't gonna take calls yet. We are gonna take calls in a little bit. Um. What a lot of dudes do on the internet, they're lying about choosing signals, meaning they lie and say, and I've seen this on plenty of fucking um, comments and all that. They'll say, I get choosing signals all the time. Like chicks is choosing me all, every day of the week. I'm getting chicks checking me out and all that. And they're like, that's the reason why I wait for choosing signals. I'm not going to bother cold approaching because that's beta. So what, what's, your, what's your thoughts on that shit? What? He's <laughs> most <Miles's> like, what? <laughs> How Miles feel about that shit? <laughs> I was like, what's, what, what, what's that talking? <laughs> I mean, how the fuck? How the fuck is is choose the How the fuck is cold approach beta? Right, right. That's what if, they say though. If, if you're waiting on the cues of a bitch, how the fuck is that? How... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, I don't get it. Because no, think about think about the think about the words choosing signals. Right. So you're waiting for a bitch to signal you, then you go and do what you're supposed to do as a man. Right, exactly. Mm-hmm. Like niggas is literal. Like this is what I don't. That's why I don't really like. I feel I don't. I'm not even mad at niggas, bro. Like the same way I forgive a bitch for female nature already. Mm-hmm. Is the same way I forgive these bitch ass niggas already. Right, right. <laughs> I, like I like in the words of Boss Mac Topsoil, I forgive you, bitch. Right, exactly. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> but shout <clears throat> out to Boss Mac. I, I already forgave these bitch ass niggas and these bitch ass bitches. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't wait for nobody. I don't wait for nobody to, to tell me what I can do or what I should do or what I need to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Period. Period. So cold approaching, cold approaching is the best simply because it's me dictating everything. Mm. Right. That's what I that's what I'm gonna say. Mm-hmm. I thought that's what men supposed to do. That's what and, and, and at the end of the day, whether the bitch know it or not, that's what she wants. Mm-hmm. Whether she know it or not, right? Because yeah. I already know it. But and, and it, like I don't see the, the thing with guys, man. Why? Like, why are you trying to minimize your 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 rejections? Why are you trying to do that? Right. Why? What exactly. are you? Like, what? What's so? What's so bad about that? Like, what? Are, what are we trying to? You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, niggas, niggas want omelets, but nobody don't want to break a fucking egg. Right. Okay. <laughs> niggas want to eat, but but nobody don't want to cook. Nobody don't mm. want to kill kill a fucking <clears throat> cow. Niggas want to steak, but but don't want to kill a cow. 
Mm-hmm. You know right. what I'm saying? Niggas right. eat popcorn but don't want to go go in the field and fucking plow some corn. Like <laughs> this is it's like crazy. This, you see what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck are we talking about, bro? It's crazy. Like, let, me tell you something. let me tell you something. I knew this, I knew this dude. Um, I knew this dude, and I'm not gonna say his name, but I knew this dude. And he he was a he was the classic example of a pretty boy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He was he was on the he was on the basketball team. Nigga had 360 spinning waves. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, his he his whole aura was just fly nigga shit. Every mm. every, every pair of new sneakers that came out, new Jordans, new pennies, whatever he right. had. You know, every the nigga it, the nigga looked like he had a brand new Jansport every fucking two weeks. That type of nigga. Mm. And, you, and you also know them niggas who. Never have nothing in a book bag because if you got too many books in your book bag, then it don't look right. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that shit. I remember that shit. Too. Me, I was a hardworking little nerd nigga, simple ass dumb nigga back in the mm. day. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. But, but your boy had a, had a 96, 97 average though. But right. I had, before I before I upgraded to a Jam Sport, anybody know what a Euro Sport was? Oh yeah, I remember that shit. The big ass leather book bag that. Niggas used to come up behind you, lift up your book bag, and drop it to make you fall over. That's the type mm-hmm. of shit I was on. Anyway, mm-hmm. that's that. That's even here or there. Anyway, back to my nigga, right? And he was my he was my homeboy though, so I'm not trying to get at him or nothing like that. But right. yeah, nigga was the classic example of a pretty boy. And guess what? He had like maybe four different bitches throughout our our, I because I got to um throughout our four years at, in high school, he, mm. he had like four different bitches, probably like a new bitch each year. Right. And he never hollered at one of them. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. Mm-hmm. Well, let me tell you one thing. The nigga was miserable in every fucking relationship. Right. Mm-hmm. The nigga hated being with every one of these bitches, bro. Mm-hmm. Because he didn't like any of them. They liked him. <laughs> mm. And he just, because, because, because having a bitch was like a status symbol type of thing, right. he, just, he just let it happen. But right. he didn't want any of it because he didn't like those girls. Those girls just they they rolled up on him, knew knew he was a pretty nigga, and they basically mm-hmm. him as a status symbol. Right. Yes? Mm-hmm. So him as a status symbol to say, well, I have a bitch. And they use him as a status symbol to say, well, I got that pretty nigga on the basketball team. You know right. What I'm saying? right. He was miserable. Like his whole relationship situation was miserable for him all four years, bro. Mm-hmm. All the high school, and the point is, is that that's what that's what you become when you wait for choosing signals. You become right. a male nigga that just let bitches happen to him. Mm-hmm. That's right. Not, I mean, how how are you living life if you just let life happen to you? That's not mm-hmm. living life. Right. That's not living life. You see what I'm saying? Right. So all of you, all of you, uh, all of you, um, choosing signal niggas, you guys are literally just allowing shit to happen to you. You're not actually. You know, you don't you don't serve any purpose in your own fucking life, bro. <laughs> see, see, see Brock, Brock Williams in the chat. He said, "Mrs. Lacar, if you were an insurance salesman, would you rather go door to door cold approaching or go off leads from people that already express interest in insurance? Hot leads. I would want to go door to door. And the reason why I'm saying that is this, and and I would actually do both. But if I had to choose, I would go to door to door because, uh, let's say for example." I go door to door and I can, I can hit 50 doors um, in, in, in eight hours, right? But then let's say you give me five hot leads, right? Just because I have a hot lead doesn't necessarily mean I'm a, clo- I'm a close. You understand what I'm saying? So now I'm, I'm, j- I'm basing all of my closing rate on just five people when I could have hit up 50. You understand what I'm saying? So there's, there, see, the, the, the thing that guys got to understand about choosing signals is a choosing signal is not a guarantee for pussy. That's what they don't get. It's not a guarantee. None of this shit is a guarantee. Cold approach ain't a guarantee for pussy. There ain't right. no listen. <laughs> there I remember who is it? I think it was um, I think it was Star from Star and Broke Wild, and he, and he had the Sean High 97, and he had, he had he had a word of the day, and he said the word of the day was indefinitely. And then he said, say it in a sentence. He said, when your balls are hitting her ass, you're in definitely. You feel what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so, basically, so basically, until you fucking the chick, 
All this shit don't matter. You see what I'm right. saying? Until you're right. actually fucking her, right. then it don't matter. So it's like, it ain't about, oh, you have the leads or you have the fucking whatever. All that matters is, is from when I talk to, like when I decide to talk and then we end up fucking. So what happens is, is that when you're waiting on the choosing signal, what you're doing is you're lowering the amount of women you get to talk to because there's still no guarantee. You see what I'm saying? Because again, you got to understand is that women, we, we and, and, and you guys should know this already. Women are fickle and flaky and all over the place. So what happens is, is that you thinking that it's a, it's, it's a fucking uh, automatic fucking, uh, you know, gateway to sex, right? That's you forgetting how fickle and flaky women are. You see what I'm saying? So now if I'm, if I got five, five leads, right? What happens is, is how do I know that those five, those five women are women I'm going to be attracted to? Because just like a man, you, you, you the dude in, in high school, he may not even have been attracted to those women as much. He may not, he, he you know, it seemed like he wasn't into them. So he was just going with whatever he was, what he, he took, what he got. And that's, that's a never a, a good position to be in the game is where you're, you're taking <clears throat> Just what you can get. You understand? You wanna you wanna go after what you want. You right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is what it is. Go ahead. Let, let, me, let me say this. See, see, Brock, 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 Brock Williams thought he was being cute and shit with, with his comment. But and to your point, Lucario, basically what you're saying is I rather put my own personal success in my own hands. Exactly. Versus someone else's hands. Right. Okay. And when you're waiting on women, okay, that's exactly what you're doing. Okay. And let me also say this about that choosing signal shit. All it really is is Ver, uh, cues giving you permission to approach. Mm -hmm. I'm right. not waiting for a bitch's permission. I approach who the fuck I want to approach when I want to approach them. Mm -hmm. So y'all scary ass motherfuckers waiting for goddamn social cues giving you permission to approach, approach a woman. Okay, right. There's nothing alpha about that. There's nothing masculine about that shit at all. Mm -hmm. no, no, real talk. Know. Real talk. And now, and now the thing is when we talk about cold approaching, right? What you have to understand is, is that cold approaching is it's not like it's this magical thing, uh, uh, you know, that if you do it, you know, you're gonna get every chick you get, you you approach, and there's yeah. gonna be there's gonna be rejection and cold approach. Yeah. In fact, there's gonna be a lot of rejection and cold approach, which is why dudes don't like cold approaching, mm -hmm. which is why dudes are trying to look for the uh the safe uh you know thing. You understand what I'm saying? And 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 as a man, you shouldn't necessarily be looking for safety. You understand there what I'm saying? You, 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 should, you know what I'm saying? As a man, you should actually be going in head first into what makes you uncomfortable. So if you are like, damn, well, I'm scared that these girls are going to reject me or I feel weird talking, just approaching these girls, that is a, a, a sign that you should do it. You feel what I'm saying? Because, see, the thing is, is that 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 uncomfortability is going to build you up as a dude. That's going to that's going to make you stronger. That's going to make your situation that you're, you're, you're in way more beneficial for you. But see, it's understand that a lot of dudes, the reason why they have the mentality of I'm going to wait for choosing signals mm -hmm. is because there is an element of fear. So basically what you're doing is that you are. um you're 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 feeding your fear by just saying I'm gonna wait for the signal oh. versus actually going after what you want and saying fuck how I feel fuck that fear I'm gonna do what I need to do anyway and so that's and that's the thing what dudes don't understand is that the cold approach gives you that thing to where you can actually go and do and talk to the woman you want to talk to interact with the chicks you want to interact with and so a lot of guys they're so scared to do that because of the rejection thing because of their ego which is why they say that, you know, well, you know, this is why the dudes is talking about choose, uh, cold approaching this beta because what happens is that they look at cold approaching or approaching a woman yeah. as you chasing her or, um, you know, you're saying, well, you're mm -hmm. better than me, so I'm trying to get at you and I, and I hope you choose me and pick me and all this other nonsense. And that's, that's their thought process. But see that that's that goes with their their ego because they're 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 already looking for validation through the chick in the first place, which is why they're looking for the choosing signal. But see, if you already are confident in who the fuck you are as a man, and you're not looking for no validation through no chick, then it doesn't matter if you cold approach and a chick doesn't want to talk to you because it don't matter. You feel what I'm saying? But see, the reason why they think it matters 
is because they're scared of rejection and they're scared of rejection because they're, they, 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 they got a big ego and they're looking for validation through the chick. So the choose the signal is the safe thing. It's like, you know what? I'm going to wait for her to check me out so that I don't have to deal with any type of resistance or rejection. And then hopefully I can make something happen with the woman without it being a blow to my ego or a blow to my identity. But go ahead, right. Zach. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to compare that shit to, to being a millionaire. Mm. Hey, there's a difference between people who win the lotto versus a safe-made millionaire, a self-made mm -hmm. millionaire. Right. People who win the lotto, how many of them go broke within the first year of winning the money? Because right. they don't appreciate it. If you're a self-made millionaire, you appreciate the journey and the sacrifices and the challenges mm. it took for you to get there. So you appreciate the money more. Okay, with this, right. with this choosing signal shit, okay, versus the code approaching, you know, once you get over the stumbling blocks and you get over the rejection and shit, okay, you appreciate the journey to your game evolving. Waiting for choosing signals, your your game doesn't evolve with that shit. Right. Okay? You're, you're, you're stuck in the same fucking place, man. Scared. <laughs> Yo, so Aces said, cold approaching has a high constant failure rate. With choosing signals, you fail, but at least it's indirect. You, you see what I'm talking about? You sound like a pussy, bro. You sound like a pussy, bro. I mean, come on, man. Y'all niggas, least, man. At least. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Guys, get them likes up, man. We got 200 people watching. Hit that like button, man. We need to get at least 100 likes in this motherfucker. Yo, but my question is, when did niggas become so bitch, though? Like, when? I don't know. So, <laughs> I don't understand it. I don't understand it. We don't, we don't take calls in a minute, but not right now because the game is heavy and y'all need to get the likes up. But get them fucking likes up. Man. But listen, listen, get them likes up and hit, hit that donate button. Um, but the thing is, this again, it's it's funny because like like Aces is saying, he's saying cold approach has a high constant failure rate. Now this is this I'm, I'm about to I'm about to blow your fucking mind, guys. I'm about to blow your fucking mind. This is not anything crazy. I'm about to say, but it might blow your mind because. You guys have been listening for forever. Do you know how cold approaching could really work out in your favor? Is if you learn some motherfucking game. This is what I don't get. See, the cold approaching has a high failure rate because you don't understand the game. You don't know how to talk to a chick. You don't know how to go back and forth with a girl. Because see, this, 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 this levels to that shit too. Because for example, me and Miles... You know, we, we've, we've, when we was doing the Game Kings documentary or when I come to Florida, we go out to these spots or whatever. And, you know, there's times where we go out and, you know, talk, just approach girls or whatever. And then you have the thing where you go, you approach a girl and you have a conversation and then you take it to the next level to where she's actually interested in you on a, on a sexual level. So you have the, we're talking and then you have the we're flirting. You feel what I'm saying? And it's going somewhere. And so some dudes can't even can't even get to the point of even having the conversation. Because sometimes a woman, and this is the, this is the funny part. This is what you guys are going to understand. Women generally will talk to anybody. Mm -hmm. But, they'll, but they'll, they'll only talk to guys who they feel know how to have a conversation. So a lot of times where you get chicks who... You try to talk to them or stop them in the street or have a conversation with them, right? And and you know, and then and then they just keep it moving. There's always gonna be chicks like that, but you're you're gonna have women who's gonna stop and, and and be cool with having a conversation. Now it's your it's your it's your job to turn the, the, the regular conversation into something more to move it in that direction. You see what I'm saying? And so the thing is, is that the reason why I do say cold approach don't work as much is because. They're so scared to cold approach. They're hesitant. So even when they approach a woman, th the woman feels those vibes of a guy who don't know what the fuck he's doing in the first place. So she immediately shuts it down. She's like, oh, no, I'm good. I don't want to talk. Let me go, blah, 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 blah. Right? Now, again, that's going to happen, uh, you know, regardless. But it's going to happen more with, if your game sucks. You know what I'm saying? This is what I be trying to tell these dudes. Because if your game fucking sucks, what happens is that's when you get... Uh, 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 a lot of and, and see aces. He said he also said he said even with cold, with game cold approach has a high constant failure rate. Now see, let's talk about what is the success rate for cold approaching. See that's what they dudes don't get. See guys be thinking the success rate is I approach a hundred girls and I get a hundred girls. That's not what it is. You understand what I'm saying? But Miles, go ahead. Listen, man. <laughs> Listen, please. 
Okay. I want see see this this is the thing that that I think fucks niggas up and what they don't understand about game. And, mm. and we keep telling y'all, y'all really think game is about getting bitches, bro. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really, the game is about getting bitches. The reason why, the reason why failure and all that shit is is good is because again, you only get you only get two things. You only get a win or you get a lesson. I told right. you that last night. Right. You only get a win or you get a lesson. The reason why cold approach and getting rejected constantly ends up being a good thing is because it. Helps your game. It builds your character. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. You know, it forces you to narrow down what works and what doesn't work. Right. Yeah, I really don't understand. Like, if if if, if a child is born into a rich family, he'll be he can he can possibly be rich all his life. But mm-hmm. if his family goes bankrupt, he's fucked. Exactly. Right. <laughs> but when a nigga is born into a poor family and learns how to make money. No matter what happens, as long as he's got that hustle mentality and knows how to make money, he's good forever. That's what we're trying to show y'all niggas. Y'all mm-hmm. niggas. And everything goes right and she fucks you and, and you marry her and you live happily ever after. You're not going to learn nothing with that. Mm-hmm. You're not going to build any character as a man. You're not going to build no heart. You're not going to build any charm, any confidence. You're not gonna build anything that teaches you how to develop as a person or as a man. Nothing. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Exactly. I was approaching and, and getting shot down and, and getting meeting stupid bitches and meeting time wasting ass bitches and meeting bitches who ain't got no sense. It shows you, it teaches you different things about life and about yourself. And that's why it's necessary. And that's why you have to go through it. So mm. no matter what the fuck you think, no matter how many excuses these niggas come up with, mm. you if you want to be a nigga that's about game and that understands what he's doing, because because listen, there's a lot of niggas out there that get bitches and they have no idea what the fuck they're doing. Son. Right, exactly. Right. Mm-hmm. And then after they break up with a bitch. Oh, he's cutting out little mouse. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Right. I'm saying there's niggas out there that get bitches but don't have absolutely no idea what the fuck they're doing. You mm-hmm. understand? So mm. let's just say they're in a relationship right now. If they break up with the bitch and then they go out, go out there and try to get a bitch, they wonder why they're in a drought. They wonder why they can't talk to bitches. They wonder why nothing is working out. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. that's because they never actually had game to begin with. They were they just got lucky. You right. See, you understand? Mm-hmm. But you got some they get a couple of bitches through luck, through being in the right place at the right time, or maybe in the right social circle or whatever. Right. But, but your your game, the, the cool part about game is game has you prepared. Game allows you to be able to talk to bitches from here to fucking Timbuktu. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm game right. allows look at a nigga like Eddie Fuse. Eddie Fuse get, get bitches wherever the fuck he go. That nigga is living in is living in Thailand and he get bitches over there. You know exactly, what I'm exactly. You're like, oh, oh my god, it's a it's a language barrier, and I don't understand the choosing signals, so I don't know how to I can't get bitches in, in Thailand right now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna pay for the prostitutes and keep it mm-hmm. moving. Why? Because you have no real game. You have you're, you 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 don't know how to fish. Some nigga just gave you a fish, but you don't know how to fish. Mm-hmm. You were you're, you're trying to be born into a rich family, but you don't know how to make money. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You have to knowledge of self so you can get what you want. That's what game is really about. Y'all motherfuckers really think that game is just about manipulation or just going from you know. Uh, 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 being a virgin with a dry dick to, to being a fucking pimp. Like, no, like, there's a there's a journey in this. There's knowledge, there's wisdom, there's experience. There is things that turn you into a fucking man. And mm. that's what's necessary. That's why, that's why there, you know, the difference between cold, it's like this. You, you know the fucking guy from India, I think, and mm. he, he injects his, his fucking muscles, he injects his muscles to have big biceps. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if y'all know who I'm talking about. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta look, I gotta fucking look that shit up. But he he's this Indian dude and he's obsessed with having a good physique. And the mm. nigga injects this like silicone into his biceps. Right. You know? And um after a while, he started to develop cancer in the shit. And the mm. doctors had to cut, cut his fucking arms and fucking take the shit out. Now the nigga 
He couldn't even make real muscle if he wanted to. Because right. he fucked it up. And so that's the difference between a nigga that's willing to go to the gym every fucking day and really lift weight and take protein shakes and another nigga who just want to inject his biceps and make mm-hmm. muscle. Right. Looking for shortcuts, like all these niggas be doing on YouTube. Looking for shortcuts. Ain't no shortcuts in this shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Ain't no shortcuts in this shit. And y'all niggas is doing yourself a disservice coming up with all these fucking excuses trying to take shortcuts. Right. Exactly. <laughs> well, I, I, I disappeared for a minute. Did, did y'all read Brock Williams' last uh, Nah, situation? nah. Go ahead. You can read it. Bro, okay. So Brock Williams says, also, if you get rejected by a hot chick at a gym, it could hurt your ability to get other chicks at that gym if they see you get turned down. Y'all Not motherfuckers, true. man. <laughs> Not true. Bro, <laughs> first of all, if you knew how to correctly holler at the chick at the gym, you ain't got to worry about other people being right there while you're talking to the chick. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, bro, see, the fact that you would say that, that means your game is limited, partner. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Why, why you worry about what other motherfuckers doing? Okay, and not only that, but Lacar, you say all the time, motherfucker, people ain't paying attention to you like that. They ain't exactly. watching you that's like what I'm that. that this, it, it, you see, this is what I'm talking about. That's the part that dudes don't get. See, this this is what's so annoying about shit sometimes because guys, people say shit that sounds good on the surface, but when you think about it in real life, it don't it don't compute. It don't make sense because if I'm at the gym, like this is a gym that I used to work at, right, and this is a, a huge fucking gym. You understand what I'm saying? So if a dude is standing next to a girl and he's trying to holler at her, right? Ain't nobody paying attention to them. Everybody up there on the treadmills, they doing their own shit. They got their headphones in. They didn't hear what the fuck that nigga said to the other. Thank chick. you. <laughs> it ain't like it ain't like you. It ain't like you was working out and then and then they had the music playing. Everybody working out and then you put your weights down and then you walk across to the girl and then everybody just stopped what they was doing. They turned the music off. Everybody was about what the fuck you doing? You know what I'm saying? Everyone was standing there and then you approached the girl and they were all like rooting for you and shit. Like niggas watch <laughs> movies too much. You know what I'm saying? Like like what the fuck? Nobody cares. Like I don't understand why dudes be. You know what I mean? Like I don't understand that shit. <laughs> the, the, the thing is that, is that what, what niggas don't truly understand is number one, that's that's all about perspective. Because right. niggas, niggas egos get hit so bad, they think that everybody is is staring at them. You know what right. What I'm that's right. Number one. But number two is if you if you correctly knew, like like Kazak and said how to holler at bitches, like pretty much every time I get shot down, I'm walking away from a bitch and she's smiling. Right. There you mm-hmm. go. So the average person. They don't see what they don't really know what actually went down. They just saw me go up to her, say something to her real quick, and then both of us, me and her, smiled, probably shook hands, and then I walked mm-hmm. away. That's exactly it. right, right. Thank you, That's so it. Dude, bro. Do do be acting like when when women reject you is always some dramatic. She yelling at you, cursing at you. Get the right. fuck away from me. Uh, no, come on, chick. Ch- say, look, if you know how to talk to women, the interaction, even when they reject you, is gonna be pleasant. Exactly Period. right, right. Exactly. It, that's what I'm saying. Like dudes don't get that shit. But listen, guys, we, we need a we need uh we need 10 more likes and then we're gonna take some phone calls. We need that that like button to hit a hundred. To hit a hundred, then we're gonna get some phone calls. You feel what I'm saying? Wait, let me let me go help out. Let me go help out. I'm gonna, I'm yeah. gonna hit the like button real quick. Exactly, right, right. Facts, facts. <laughs> facts. <laughs> facts. Everybody hit that like button. Get that oh. algor- algorithm. I got, I, got, I got like number 97. You know <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we over, we over a hundred, we over a hundred. Make sure you guys also hit that donate button at the top. All right, let's take some calls. Let's take some calls. All right, on you. Yo. This is bugging. What the fuck? Why is it? Why? Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's, my it's my fault. It's my fault. Cause it's it's my fault. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, what's poppin'? Who this? Hold on, why am I hearing double, no, double you're fucking... Good, you're, good, you're good now, you're good. Go ahead, go okay, ahead. Okay, cool. I was like, that was crazy. Um, all right, so what's poppin'? Yeah, I'm good. How you guys doing today? Chillin', chillin'. What's going on? Good, yeah. My, uh, my YouTube channel, I commented on your thing. I said this is a ridiculous debate because, like, I don't understand why we're having it because... Obviously, both ways of approaching are good. Like, you know what I mean? Like, choosing signals and code approaching are good, but I feel like the people and the code approaching 
I'm not sort of approaching choosing the signal side or, or thinking like like um, that they know that they don't like color coaching is like super bad and that you know that color coaching doesn't bring results. You know what I mean? Well, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let's 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 think real logical here. Let's think real logical. If cold approaching doesn't work, let's say you have a guy named Tim, right? And Tim approaches 50 women and not one of them wants to talk to him, right? Which girls are choosing him then if he has a rate of no girls wanting to talk to him? Exactly. So then that's what I'm saying. So if, if, if choosing signals worked, then by, by design, then cold approach would also work for you because you, you constantly get women choosing you, which means that you would be that attractive to where women are wanting to fuck with you all the time in general. Oh, yeah. I, I agree too, but even, even if you add on that, I think what these dudes, like you said, they realize that choosing signals aren't always a guarantee. That's like a woman can look at you because you have a cool shirt. Mm. Maybe your shirt's red or blue and it catches their attention. Right. You know, there's some people that like to look at other people while they're walking. Or like, even another example, you know, just because a chick doesn't look at you doesn't mean that she doesn't like you. Like a chick, you could be walking past and you think she's cute, but like maybe she's focused on something in her head, she's thinking about something, maybe she's on the phone with the mm. friend. I feel like, as like a man, it's like, how can you wait on a woman to like look at you and go approach her? It's like... <laughs> Men should be doing what they want, regardless of what anybody else thinks. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I just think it's ridiculous that men think that you know code coaching is bad. Because if you look at all of Fortune 500 companies, all the CEOs to make these make all the businesses, they started off cold calling businesses, mm -hmm. and they advertise too. Like cold calling, like is like the origin. You know what I mean? Of like choosing signals and all that. Because at the end of the day, you have to approach the chick. Right, right, exactly. So that's and that's what I'm saying. Where again, the thing is this: ain't nothing wrong with a chick throwing you choosing signals and you going over and approaching her because you see this chick is is checking you out. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. But the thing is, is that you know when a guy is using that as his only fucking way to to talk to women, then he's fucking up. You understand what I'm saying? Because that, and, and that and that's the thing. Because it's like it doesn't it it doesn't happen often enough. It doesn't yield itself to consistent results. And you're waiting on a chick to make moves. You know what I'm saying? That's the most important part. You know what I mean? And did you see those guys in the chat? I think it was Ross and this other video talking. You can't change the nine out of ten. Mm -hmm. And that you know he just changed the all day. But he was right and he gets. Let's say he gets 15 cheap food and things a day. Well, I, I'm going to bet that there's a lot of women that aren't looking at him that are attracted to him, but he's missing out on a lot of women too. Right. Right. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Well, Miles, are you gonna say? No, I'm, I'm. I'm. Hey, what's up, caller? I'm, and it's, I'm. I'm gonna say something, and I'm not even like responding to the caller necessarily. But you know the type of chicks that that give me choosing signals. Right. Which ones? Fat bitches. <laughs> see, see, I got a story for you. I'm glad you said that. Go ahead, Miles. You know what I'm like, there's a, there's a few fat bitches that I'm that I'm cool with. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, there's a few, but mm -hmm. but eight times out of ten, the bitches that's giving me choosing signals, nah, no, it's just, no, okay. Mm -hmm. like, like my man Lucario always said, that bitch already know there's no way in hell that me and her is going. Like, there's no way. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like choosing signals. Fuck out of here! Like, come on, sir. Come mm -hmm. on, bro. Mm -hmm. Caller for everyone, y'all listening. Um, I went through a phase where for like a month, nothing but fat bitches was approaching me. <laughs> it was all like 600 pound life bitches, and it got to the point I started understanding how women felt. Like, mm -hmm. god damn! Like, mm -hmm. do these bitches think I like big bitches? Like, fuck! Like, come mm -hmm. on, I'm, I'm a cute nigga. I deserve more than this shit. Right. But for like a month, at least like two times a week, at bars and clubs, chicks would approach me smiling like they just knew they had me and shit. And it's like, mm -hmm. nah, no. Nah. So if you're just waiting for choosing signals, what if all the women are unattractive? What are you exactly. going to do? Exactly. Exactly. What are you going to do then? Because because <laughs> you know what it is. Think about it this way. A lot of the like, for example, a lot of the big chicks, 
you know, or or the chicks that people would deem as not as attractive, their mentality is I ain't got nothing to lose. You understand? You so they're just like fuck it. So if they see a dude they're attracted to, because 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 trust and believe those fat chicks still get dudes hollering at them. But it's a lot of dudes that they're not really feeling. So then they see a dude they're feeling, they're like, fuck it, I'm going after this nigga. Whatever, what I got to lose, right? But what happens is, is for a lot of women who most people would say is more attractive, right? They're getting dudes hollering at them all the time. Mm. So they don't necessarily need to, to, to really be as, um, you know, assertive or, or, or show so much like, you understand what I'm saying? Um, um, interest, because this is what guys don't understand. For for most women, right? If you if a woman, let's say for example, a woman checks you out, right? And this is why, and this is another reason why dudes don't get a lot of choosing signals. A woman could check you out, and if she's making it obvious that she's checking you out, and you don't approach her, she sees that as you're you're rejecting her. So in order to not get rejected, she's not going to look at you like that. She's not going to show that much interest because she doesn't want to put herself out there to be rejected by you. You see what I'm saying? Right. So, so when you walk into a bar or a club or whatever, a chick could, she could already peeped you. She, she already looked at you up and down. She already saw how you looked. She was, you know, feeling your appearance or the way you look, whatever it was. But now she's posting up, hoping that you man enough to go and approach her. You see what I'm saying? And then what she'll do is, and this is another choosing signal, Right. She'll she'll put herself in your vicinity, so she'll stand near you. You see what I mean? But you still gotta be able to pick up on that. But dudes who talk about choosing signals don't even understand that that is also actually a choosing signal. You know what I'm saying? So they still I got don't something for you, Lucario. I got something for you, bro. I got go ahead, something go ahead, for you. Go ahead. If you are not adept at approaching women on your own, you're never gonna learn body language. So how would you even know what a choosing signal is? Exactly. I, I just want to know that because because guys act like women are just throwing themselves at, at them. No. A lot of women, to your point, Lucario, they will be very subtle about it to where only the guys that got game and really mm. understand mm. will pick up on it. Most right. guys don't have enough game to pick up on the a, on a subtle choosing signals. I mean, these right. niggas is fraud. I mean, these niggas is funny, bro. I can't even right. Remember. But, Caller, what, what were you saying, Caller? Yeah, well, I was going to say that, you know, you might also not even think about women. You might even not even look at you or, or even come Nervous. A lot of women are nervous. Mm. And, you know, most women, unless you're staring at them, like, you know, they're walking down the street and she's coming and, you're, and she's walking towards you, you might not even, you might not even notice she's looking at you because she might be looking at you out of her peripheral vision. You know what I mean? Like, she might, like, a quick glance, and you might not even notice that she's even looking at you. Mm. Nah, that's some real shit. Even on top of that, like, I don't know if you got, like, like, I'm a young dude, I'm 18, and I've asked chicks before. Like, chicks love getting photo posts. They told me, they said, dudes barely cold approach them. And then I've had plenty of women say that, plenty of women say that they want dudes to cold approach them more. So mm. when you cold approach, it makes you look a lot more confident and unique in terms of the dude that she's been across. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right, right. And see, I like, I like the fact that you're a young dude and you understanding this already. You see what I'm saying? Like, you... you <laughs> You know what I mean? Like you understand the game, you understand how it's really going down, and you got dudes that's like our age or even older who's still on that that other shit. You see what I'm saying? So, but but yo, man, I appreciate the call, my brother. All right. Hey, wait, hold on. Up. What's up? Be right back, fellas. All right, real quick. As, I as far as far as what the game? Yeah. No, it's 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 totally negative because just just off the strength that dudes are acting way too bitch made. You understand what I'm saying? That's what's causing shit to 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 be whack. You understand what I'm saying? That's what's causing every you know shit to to to, to not be uh, beneficial for most dudes because since they're acting very feminine, they're not in their masculine. They're scared to approach women. You know, shit like this. That's making the shit worse. You see what I'm saying? It's so, you know, exactly why are we doing what the fuck we doing? Right, right. We see the direction that men are going in, and we're we're here we're here to to be the resistance. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, bro. Yeah, appreciate call, guys. All right, bro.
Yeah, I'm Allah. Peace. All right. Yo, what's poppin'? Who this? Oh, what's up, man? It's a guy from London, bro. What's going on? Yeah, man. It's, it's, not, it's not too bad, man. Not too bad, man. Just had a good day today, man. I just um, listened to what you're talking about, man. How's everyone in the chat, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? All right. What up? What up? All right, man. So, yeah, so you was just talking about um, why choosing signal. Sorry, sorry. Why cold approaching is better than choosing signal. Would you be able to elaborate why you think that is? I, we just did like an hour for a whole hour. <laughs> Basically, again, it's when you're cold approaching, you're the one who is making the decision. When you're waiting on choosing signals, you're waiting for the woman to make a decision for you to, to take action. And also, too, choosing signals are not in, 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 a, in abundance for you to just wait on that. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, what do you think about choosing signals for chocolate guys? Choose a signal for what? For chocolate guys. Wait, hold, first of all, why do you call dudes chocolate? That's what I want to know. <laughs> These <laughs> moist ass niggas. <laughs> it's like calling a nigga delicious. Yeah, niggas moist. You know I mean? Wait, so in the UK they call they call black dudes chocolate guys? No, um, that's just a, the, yeah, that's how we like because we are brown guys, Asian guys, and chocolate guys, black guys. They, that's what we call uh, the UK. So that's, that's that that sounds a little homoerotic, but that's yeah, me. yeah bro. Right. <laughs> <laughs> these, these, these fucking hetero flexible ass niggas, bro. They they funny, bro. <clears throat> right, man. So I just wanted to say, like, um, because I, I I thought the topic was interesting because um I know you I listened to what you said. You said that you can't just rely on choosing signals mm. uh, to get girls. Mm. I definitely agree with that. I definitely agree with that. You know, I mm. can't rely. On it, but the thing is, we go. Is a lot of the results that I've got even in high school um, have pretty much just been me just walking along, you know, putting my putting my hand out, you know what I'm saying, maybe showing my shirt, a bit of my arms, a bit of my jewelry, you know, flexing my height, and like the girls are just standing there playing with their head, and then I go up and talk to them. Um, by the same time, um, I'd say the other 45% has been from cold approaching, but you know, although I got results from cold approaching, the, the, what I felt, a cold approaching it was like me uh, running on a desert hmm. chasing alligators that are flying. Basically, that's what it was like. <laughs> we said it was. It's, so you're basically saying that the cold approaching was harder. Um, I wouldn't say it was harder. I would just say it, it worked. It, it did work, but the success rate was much lower than the choosing signals I've got. So how many? So how many? How many chicks was choosing you on a daily, generally? Give me a number. Give me a number on on an average day. How many chicks is choosing you on an average day? Uh, From 17. seventeen girls is choosing you on an average day. Why y'all niggas be calling the blind man? God, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not lying, I don't know like Wow, like we had this shit last night. I said these niggas be lying. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. If seventeen girls a day was choosing up on you, right? <laughs> Then how are you having issues with cold approach? No, the reason why I have the issues, uh, I don't, no, no, I never said I have issues cold approaching. I'm saying that it works. The cold because the thing is, I, I'm in a different realm of reality because I know I'm a good looking guy. And, you know, what I mean, I don't know why, but girls gravitate to me. So the cold approaching does work. But I'm saying the results is significantly less than the choosing. But that's what I'm saying. See, that's what I'm saying. If you if if you're if you're listen, you're choosing your cold approach success. If it's if it's low, right? That means that your choosing signal success is also low. Facts. You understand what I'm saying? Or even lower than your it's gonna be lower than your cold approach Facts. situation. You understand what I'm saying? No, 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 but this is what I'm trying to explain to you. This is what I'm trying to explain. Shout out to EO and in, 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 in just join the live. Um, but this is the thing. It's 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 what I'm saying to you is you said you get about 17 chicks a day choosing up on you, right? Correct? Yeah. Right. So now what more than that sometimes. 
Okay, okay, ne- right. So now you're saying way, okay, so so way more than that, right? So mm-hmm. Okay, so now, now, if you get a hundred girls, <laughs> I don't know why I'm entertaining this, but if you get a hundred girls <laughs> choosing signals, right? How in the hell is the cold approaching l- lower lower success? It make that makes absolute that logically makes no sense. <laughs> I'm basically approaching 50, 50 girls and I'm only getting two numbers. I, I didn't mean it like that. What I'm saying is, this is what I mean. This is my cold approach success. Mm. So let's say I approach 12 girls. Mm. I get nine numbers mm-hmm. out of 12. Mm-hmm. And that's, so like for every 12, 12 girls I approach, I get eight to nine numbers and I'm fucking at least seven of them. Mm. Okay. That's my results. So I don't get the full... Uh, success that I want, but I do get like say seventy five percent of one hundred percent of results. You know what I mean? Okay, and 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 then and then with choosing signals, you're saying you're getting a hundred percent success rate. I'm getting ninety five point seven and a half. Niggas, stop with the bullshit, man. Come on, bro. Like seriously, what? Like what are you? <laughs> y'all lying, motherfuckers, man. Y'all, come on, man. Yo, y'all niggas get on my nerves, man. I hate y'all, motherfuckers, man. <laughs> Just be lying. Motherfucker, we can look if we can tell you lying, women can tell you're lying. Okay, that's why you ain't fucking nobody, bro. But your hand, nigga. I mean, come on, bro. Shit. I'm just saying, yeah, like there's guys out there like me that do get choose the signals because the way you say our game works, and these like guys that don't think game works doesn't work. There's guys like me that are saying I do get like, close to 100% success, and now you're saying that's bullshit. No, no, no. We're, we're, we're not saying that choosing signals don't happen. What we're saying is you're lying about the amount of choosing signals you're getting and the success rate. That's what we're saying. Because you just because you just said two contradictory things. That, like, if listen, listen, listen. If I said, if I said, yo, um, I'm making uh, half a million dollars a year, right? And, but then I said, I, ha- I, ha- I-, I-, I need to borrow 10 bucks from you to buy bread. <laughs> does, does, that, does that make sense? Uh, I'm, I'm just saying the truth. Like every, the thing is with me, you need to understand you because I don't say people quite a bit of jokes, you know, uh, and I'm quite desensitized. Like, I know I can get it. It's not hard. But I heard Ma would say something about like the girls he, that she was him um, I'm not really a kind of like bottom of the barrel, what have you. But the women that choose me are they're, they're pretty much the same girls that I would approach, and they're I'm fucking shit out there, I'm blowing their back out, and they're feeling the chocolate. So I don't understand like what what are we talking about here? Okay, so why so why do you why do you bother cold approaching? Because at the end of the day, I still want to because there are some girls who don't look at me, so the ones who don't look at me, I approach them. But you just said like a hundred girls look at you when you walk out the, the house. I'm saying when I'm in a large area, like in the city, every girl is looking at me, but I'm not going to approach every single girl. That's just stupid. I mean, I only approach the ones I find attractive. But see, this is what I'm saying. You're see, you're you're saying to you're saying contradictory stuff because what happens is if you were getting as much choosing signals as you say, right, then there would be no need for you to approach because you're getting everything your needs met. There's no point. You know what I'm saying? So there would literally be no point for you. Like, like what I'm saying is if I, if I paid you uh, 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 $20 to come into the office and work for eight hours, and then I say, you know what? You ain't got to come into the office. Just stay home and chill and watch Netflix all day. I'm going to still pay you the $20 an hour. Which one would you, would you come into the office? Never. You would never come into the office. Why? Because you're getting the same amount of shit with doing less work. So what? So what I'm saying is that if you were getting as much choosing signals, which would be less work, there would be no need for you to cold approach. Yeah, but this, this, this is the thing. Okay? There's, there's, okay, further. You know what? You know what, Lucario? This is what I'm convinced of. What What these niggas really want when they call up with all this nonsense? They want a link to the show, nigga. <laughs> they want a link. That's what they want. 
and, 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 and because they realize they can't have that, what they do is they call up with this outlandish shit, knowing that you know I, I get to be a part of the show, and, and the more <laughs> bullshit I say, the more they're gonna stay on that topic about my bullshit, and I can feel like I'm part of the show. I get the fuck out of here, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, bro. Oh man, Miles. Miles. Now I'm just saying, if, if dudes want as many bitches as they could get, right? Right. So combine the two, right? Right. Every bitch that that's throwing you signals, holler at them. Every other bitch that you see that you that look good to you, holler at them, and, and we just get as many bitches as possible. Right. 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 And, I, and I'm just I'm just saying, yeah. I'm just sorry to cut you off. I'm mm. just saying, yeah, that there's there's guys out there who mm. just they, they have to call the push because choosing secrets is not going to work for them. So you saying so you saying there's guys out there that have to cold approach because shoes sick is not going to work for them, which 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 I agree. But this is what I'm saying. I'm saying that there are guys out there who I'm saying all guys have to cold approach because choosing signals aren't working for 99.9% of dudes. This is what I'm trying to say. Oh, no, you're not. You're lying. This is what I'm trying. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Because hold on, hold on. I'm gonna tell you why you're lying. I'm gonna tell you why you're lying. Because even for guys that choosing signals works for, it's not that much. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, for example, the average guy may get, let's say, one chick throwing him extreme choosing signals like a week, right? Then you may have that 1% of guy who may get four a day, if that much, which is still, which still ain't shit. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is that when you're, when, you're, when you're talking about what you're talking about, the reason why I'm saying that you're lying is because you cannot have one thing that you're saying without the other. You're saying, I'm getting... Cho chosen by 17, 20, 80, 100 girls every day. Then on top of that, you said, where he live? Wait, wait, it's, so, it's that many bitches. Like, where he live? All right. Well, he, I don't know. But, but look, this is what he said. He said, I'm getting the choosing signals, right? But at the same time, uh, my my cold approach is is low. So it can't. you can't have both. That's what I'm saying. If you would have said, listen, my choosing signals are on point, and I, when I called approach, I get a, a bunch of chicks. Then I wouldn't have shit to say. But you just, you just. Oh my I'm Jesus! He said because he's iced out. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> well, that's not cold approaches. That's just the human nature of, of of humans responding to shiny things. <laughs> hey yo, check this out. What's up, guys? Nice to see you. Nice to be back with you guys on the platform. I do, you know, what's going on, bro? I, I'm in a food coma right now, man. I'm in a food coma. I can't even breathe and shit. But let me tell you, let me tell you how a restaurant right now just tried to throw me a choosing signal right now. Check this out. <laughs> so they had like a special right now for on perch. This this restaurant opened up by me, this little spot, and I like it. I typically go to it. Shout out to everybody in the chat room. But even businesses are throwing you choosing signals to try to get you to come get their product, okay? Mm, right. So like, even this restaurant said, okay, we got Lake Perch, you know, with potatoes or whatever it was. And I was like, I ain't about to eat that old-ass COVID-19 perch that you had. That shit thawed out. They threw it back in the freezer and shit. So, like, here's the thing. Like, they might have had an abundance of this particular product. It might be near expiration. So they got to get rid of it. So they're throwing a choosing signal. So it's the equivalent. And so instead, I passed on that, and I created my own food. They have, like, an option where you can create your own meal. Mm -hmm. I, ended up, I ended up getting far more food for less money because I decided to do it myself. I created the food I wanted. Right. So I got better tasting food, more food for less money. And I enjoyed it more rather than getting that old ass perch that they, they have on expiration that they're just trying to get rid of because, you know, it, we either sell it to these, these loser ass motherfuckers or, or, we, or we lose money on it. So it's the same thing. Everybody's throwing some sort of choosing signal for whatever personal reason they're throwing a signal for. So it's not just about the women. Businesses are doing it all the time with their marketing campaigns. Are you going to buy that product? You know, mm -hmm. so for me, my food is always best when I when I hunt for it. I get it. I season it. I marinate it. And then I fuck it. <laughs> hey, 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 you know, I'm telling you the man. truth. Yeah, I'm telling you the truth. It's like when I do all the work to get it, mm. I know why I'm going after it. The why. I know why I want it. I know what I'm going to do with it. I know what purpose it's going to serve for me. What purpose I'm going to serve it. I marinate it. I fuck it, and life is good. 
But mm-hmm. when it's like I'm at the mercy of someone else's campaign, whatever that bullshit is, then I think right now you're at, you know, I'm not saying it can't work, but in my experience, and I've been with hundreds of women, it was always best when I created it from scratch. Always. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Yeah, but you, that, that's your, that's you though. That's your, your Gemini philosophy. You know what I mean? Gemini philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro. Okay. All right. You know what I mean? Because I don't, I don't need to do that. I was, hey, actually, I wasn't even talking to you, dude. I was talking to my boys. I wasn't even talking to you. <laughs> Say that again, uh, caller. Wait, say that again. I, I, I missed it. Say it one more time. You banged a girl in a park to in the park. You banged a girl in the park. Yes, but she chose you. So wait, you met you met some chick, random chick in the park and had sex. Hey, this dude is not even serious, bro. For real. This dude. Right. He, he <laughs> not serious, he, he, he's he's so All right, we're gonna have to go yeah. on to the next caller, man. That's that's now you're getting too ridiculous. Let yeah. me get let me get my dude AT to call up because he, he made a donation. Shout out to my dude AT. Make sure you guys make a donation. Click that that link at the top. Shout out to my dude Willie with the donation. Shout out to my dude uh, Robert with the donation. Shout out to my dude Curvis with the donation. And shout out to my dude Apollo with the donation. Uh, what's popping, bro? Hey, what's going on? It's Apollo. What's going on? You and the fellas, man. Chilling, chilling. Exactly. It's still it's still pretty much the same shit. But they 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 think that it's it's somewhat gonna soften the blow or that they won't get rejected because they they assume because the woman's checking them out or giving them a signal that that that's guaranteed. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> we went to hey, hey, most girl, most girls that I've ever got a choosing signal from was a dumbass bitch. I'm gonna be honest with you; she was just a dumbass bitch, man. Most of them were. And, you know, when you go talk to them, they ain't got nothing to say. They ain't on nothing. And like, so for me, it's, it was always best not to cut the call off. But I, I, I'm just telling you. With Wait, my hold on, hold on. One second, one second. Uh, AT, you, you, were you saying, EO? Yeah, like most of the women that ever throw choosing signals, they're just dumbass bitches, man. They ain't got no future. They have no plan. Like, 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 like for real, like, <laughs> like women, women that have something that are quality, they're not necessarily out there throwing out stupid ass choosing signals all day long. Like for real, like they, a, a woman of quality is actually on her, uh, on her purpose too. So mm-hmm. it's like one of y'all just got to like, and I think it's the man's job personally, just to go up and strike up conversation. Don't take up a lot of her time. Introduce yourself. Tell her why you want that you would like to see her sometime and why. Give her your information. Tell her to call you and you'll set something up. And that's it. Why is that so damn Thank difficult? You. Most of the time, Thank these, you. most of the time, these little girls over here throwing out choosing signals. I had a bitch driving in the car yesterday. She stuck her that whole head out the window to look at me and was like, hey. And I was like, get your dumb ass out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was a turn off, EO. I know it was. It was a turn off, man. <laughs> Yo, to, add, to add to that, to add to that, a, a woman of quality knows that it's the man's job to do what he got to do. Mm, right. A woman, quality, a woman of quality doesn't want a man that's taking cues from her, period. Mm-hmm. Facts. Facts. <laughs> now, real talk. So, uh, AT, what you were saying? Women, and you know, there's diseases out there, it's too dangerous, and they're getting with somebody because they're getting with other people. So, how do y'all, you know, respond to you know, when women come at you on that? 
when they when they say like, oh, I don't want to do this because it's it's you know there's all these diseases and too and it's too uh you know what I'm saying. Uh, well, well, the thing is, uh, first, usually they'll say that shit when they're not that interested in you. You understand what I'm saying? So it's just another excuse for them to to have so that they could they could uh you know throw you off so that they could use you for other shit. You understand? Use you for attention, time, and all that other stuff. So you'll be like, oh well, okay, well let me let's hang out more, get to know each other more or whatever it is. You understand what I'm saying? But what happens is, is, is when, when women do that, you either can just charge into the game and then get what another chick is more cooperative. Or if your mouthpiece is tight, you could say certain things to get them to, to, to the other side of the spectrum. Because sometimes what happens is women want to do things, but they don't want to, they don't want to do it yet because they don't want to seem easy so they almost want you to talk them into doing some shit they wanted to do in the first place you understand what i'm saying so, so the the and shit. <laughs> right exactly you know what i'm saying and 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 at at let me say this bro sometimes when you're dealing with these women just because they're uh receptive initially that does not mean they're sexually interested and mm -hmm. what they're gonna do is they're gonna do just enough to keep you fucking with them without fucking you you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So sometimes they'll tell you, hey, let's get to know each other first. Um, it's not that I, I don't enjoy sex, but it's too soon. And then they're hoping that that triggers you to give them more attention, take them out on dates, because they know what you're going to do. Women, or a lot of women are used to guys thirsting over pussy. So they know that, that guys go above mm -hmm. and beyond to try and get it. And, and the truth is, sometimes mm -hmm. when a girl makes you wait on sex, there's something wrong with her pussy. Yeah. Right, there's that too. Her, there's, there's some wrong. If she's making you wait, there's something wrong with her pussy right now. Mm -hmm. It could be that too. Right. <laughs> yeah. Look at that bitch's medicine uh, cabinet, bro. I appreciate you, bro. I'm holler. Right, All right, peace. Later. But, uh, you, you mind if I say something right quick? Yep. Yeah, go ahead. You okay, go ahead. so 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 AT and, and, and the rest of you guys listening in the chat, whatever your agenda is for these women, if they're not meeting that, leave them alone. Don't mm -hmm. you're spending too much time worrying about why women aren't doing what you want them to do. Okay, right. She's a lost cause. Just move the fuck on. Save <laughs> mm -hmm. your dignity and move the fuck on. Right. Exactly. Right, let's take some more calls. Hold on. Yeah, what's popping? Who this? What's good? Yeah, Nez, and Nez, what's good, bro? What's going on? Uh, I'm good, man. What you want to? This. <laughs> so what's good with you, though? <laughs> Miles, he's just chilling. He, <laughs> what's going on? Oh, what up, man? What up, Nez? My bad, dog. What up? What up, Nez? What up? Yeah, I see, I see uh, you're being featured on virtually every single live stream these days. <laughs> this nigga. So, Ness, what's, what's on your mind, Ness? I was going to say, did, did Lucario promote him to four-star general or something? <laughs> this nigga, Ness. Ness, you, you trolling or you got a question? What's going on with you? Uh, um, right, so, seeing as, uh, as we're, on, we're on this topic, um, I thought I'd chime in quickly. So, I, For you, that, for you, 
That's your ratio. No, don't put that on all men. That's your ratio. Like if you're an average to below average looking guy, that's twenty two. You're you're not gonna get any choosing signals from any of these women. So you have no option but to, to go out and call approach in mm. a way. But you're gonna have to part with thousands upon thousands upon thousands of of rejection than you know in my opinion unless you're a thug or unless you have some seriously low standard you know this would probably be a better option is that what would be a better option death would be a better option what what he said death he said uh, death he said he said death, he said like death is a better oh my jesus <laughs> yo yo <laughs> Yo, what is going on, Renez? You, you, you. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I didn't know pussy was that important, bro. I, I really didn't. I really, I really didn't know that that meant that much to you, bro. And a lot more productive and a lot more efficient to go out and like join a club or a society where you meet people through there. You build up your friend base and your social circle, and you get chicks. Um, through, through that friend base or social circle. So it's like a, like a warm approach because over time- Wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait. So Ness, so Ness, hold on. Let me ask you a question. How are you going to get these friends? You go out and join a club. But how? Do you wait for the club to, you wait, wait, hold on. Do you wait for the club to give you choosing signals? No, no, you go and, you go and sign up for the club. So why, why can't you go and sign up to talk to some chick? Why, why is it not the same thing? The uh, say it again. Most women are averse to guys approaching them in the street. They don't like it, especially in this day and age with the advent of uh, online dating. So wait, so how, so wait, so how are these women getting dates in, in, in sex and all that if dudes aren't approaching them? Because, because all they have to do is just download Tinder on their mobile phone, swipe a few times, and they can order a chat or a tyro. <laughs> So, so, so wait, oh. Why is the hot chick in the street gonna fuck some average to below average average looking dude just to need a master of game and you approach them in the street? So let me ask you a question, Nez. Let me ask you a question, Nez. Let me ask you a question. How do you know that when a, a guy approaches a girl, how do you know for a fact that she didn't want to mess with him because of his looks. Because, for example, you said that you approached all these girls and they didn't want to talk to you. And you're, and, and you know, you're you're not a, a, a bad looking dude in the sense of, in general, like if people, if, if a bunch of people saw you, they'd be like, hey, you're not a bad looking guy. So, so how is it that what 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 else is going? What else is at play? What's going on? No, so, no, no. The, the funny thing is, this, like, out of the people who I win with. Even though my results are kind of kind of dire when when you look at the the grand scheme of things, like the ratio, the the hit rates, uh, they were substantially better than better than um, most of my wingmen because you know I actually got some some sporadic results. They Ness, hold on, hold on, hold on, Ness, 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 hold on real quick, Ness, hold on real quick. Let, let, let me ask you a question. The women that you approach, the women that you approach, are you sexually attracted to them? Can you, can you lean into the mic, please? Uh, I can't hear. We the know. women that you approach, are you sexually attracted to them? Yeah. What do you say verbally to express that feeling? Well, what I, do you say to them? I'm, I'm usually direct with them. So like I, how? No, no. Say I, what you say. Repeat, to, repeat to us what you say to them. I say a whole host of things, a whole myriad. No, come on, bro, come on. You know, you know what I'm asking you. Be Give us an example. I mean, like you know, if I go up to a chick, I'll say something like, um, "Well, I could say something like, you know, I saw you walking and I had to come and say hello, otherwise I'd be kicking myself for the next ten minutes at least, etc." <laughs> or I'd be saying something like, uh, "Do you speak English?" Uh, she'll be like, yeah. And I'll be like, do you know what I mean when I say that your face and style is adorable? I uh, say hi for five minutes before I go to the gym or go to work or whatever. And, you know, I'll, I'll go into the uh, conversation from there. But most of the time, you know, like I said, you'll get like a, a three to four minute conversation from nowhere 
the boyfriend excuse. So you don't mention sex at all. So you don't mention sex at all. So you don't mention sex at all. Cause I just asked you, did you do you find the women sexually attractive? So if that's your motivation for stepping to them, how come the woman doesn't know that? The, the only thing that's going to get you is a, is a sexual harassment charge. <laughs> oh, this motherfucker. You know, right, I'm done with you, bro. I'm done with you. Right, Nez. 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 I, I don't know, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, bro. See, bro, this is this is what this was. I'm going to tell you what's happening. I'm going to just tell you what's happening. We, we got to move on to the next caller real quick. And it, it, it's real simple. And until you get this, you may not get this now, but hopefully you'll get it later. You understand what I'm saying? The reason, the reason why you're not connecting with these women when you call the approach you're trying to make this stuff happen is because in your mind, in your own mind, you think that it's impossible for it to happen Through, throughout, what we, throughout what we're hearing, throughout what you're, we're saying. Matter of fact, why is your avatar of, enough, of another man? I was going to ask that. <laughs> I was going to ask that shit. <laughs> But but that's what I'm saying. You just said it. You said it's highly unlikely. That's how you think. So that your your, your thoughts are becoming your reality. And, and what again? What we'll say it again? The success rate was, was. You said yourself that the call approach success rate is going to be low regardless. Yeah, it's going to be low in relation to how many people you talk to. But what I'm saying is that you said it again. That's what I'm saying. No 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 no. You're saying. That if you talk to a hundred girls, right, it's impossible. Nothing's gonna happen. Shit's not gonna go down. I'm saying if you talk to a hundred girls and your game sucks, you'll probably get one or two. If your game is average, you'll probably get 10 to 15. If your game is advanced, you'll probably get maybe 35 or 40 out of a hundred. You understand what I'm saying? But you're not no one, no one's gonna get the total hundred. It's not gonna happen. So what I'm saying is is that based off your level of game, right? You can make things go down, but what you're saying is, and what you're what you're trying to uh, come across is, if you don't look like the the quote unquote giga chad that you have on your your screen, right? <laughs> that it's it's impossible. That's what that's what you're saying. I, I didn't say that. I said it will be um, that your your success rate will be low regardless. Like I'm saying, if, you, if you're average, so it will be. I mean, okay, so let, okay, so let's hold on, hold on, let's let's go with that, let's go with that, let's hold on, Nez, 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 let's go with that, let's go with that, Nez, let's go exactly with that. What, how, how, how low do you think your success rate will be if you're average? Who's average? My average or somebody else's? No, no, just average. That's what I'm saying. Let's go with your average. How, if you approach a hundred girls, what's your going to be your success rate? Okay, so now, okay, so now let's go with that. How many women do would you would you like to have to hook up and date? No, just in general. Like, if you had a roster of women, if you had a a a a, a, a few women you were dealing with, how many women do you want? About ten, fifteen thousand. Bro, realistically, how many women do you want in your rotation? See this is what I'm you bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what I'm saying is on okay, let okay, let's go with 50 or 60. Fuck it. Let's go with 50 or 60, right? Now, you said that it would take it would take every 100 girls, you will you will get one or two, right? Yeah. Okay, let's let's do the math, right? So you want Hold on. So, so you want how many fifty women? Okay. So then, so then, Nez, just approach five thousand women. Then. Okay. Well, then, and then I, 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 we can't help you. Now. I don't know what to tell you, bro. This is what I'm saying. You just said that it would take you a hundred, a uh, hundred girls to talk to one or two. So what I'm saying is if you want those, well, you said you want 50 women. So mathematically speaking, you have to approach this many women to get that amount. So I'm, I'm giving you the game right here. But you just said you, you just rejected it. No, no, no. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm just, I'd rather just find 
one chick to just settle down with and like have kids with and that's it. Okay, so then that's even easier. You ain't gotta get 50 women. You go 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 and approach 300 girls. You'll get six of them, and then try to get one of those chicks to be that chick that you settle down with. Why? Why is that so hard? Yeah, I, I can do that. Yeah, but you know. But what? Six, out of those six, I mean, I mean, the six who are going to be interested in me. Okay, so then talk to three hundred more women, get six new ones, and then do it all over again. Yo, Nez, you got you got so many excuses, bro. I'm just saying, you, you, we 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 just gave you the game right here, plain and simple. Just go do that shit. This is how you would get what you want. We it, we we laid it out for you. This is you know what I'm saying. <laughs> like, so if it's up to you, if you want to do it, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. Well, try that. Do that. You know what I'm saying? All right, Ness. You have a good night. Peace. Man. You, you guys see that? You see that? You guys see. It. You know what I'm saying? Like, excuse after excuse, bro. I'm trying to break it down for the for him to, to, to get shit popping. And it was like, yeah, but I don't know, but I don't know. All right, let's let's continue. Yo, what's popping? Who this? Oh my god, no. Okay, next caller. <laughs> Hold on. Yo, what's popping? Who this? What up? Uh, I was calling. I was calling because uh, I had a question. Uh, I'm the one that called about the pictures. There was a wild man on the Tinder or whatever. But okay. I tried, uh, I tried more apps out, more uh, dating apps and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm getting a little bit more matches on Bumble and like POS and stuff. Right. And see, like, one, I'm trying to be more direct. And like, I'm basically telling these girls to get on there. I say. I think you're really cute and all, but I'm really just trying to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> My question is, I'm trying to see, like, do you have to be that direct or whatever? Like, well, EO, e you want to take this? Because you, you thought you was laughing. <laughs> I mean, you can be that direct. It depends on the environment. And, you know, there was one thing I said during a live stream recently is that one way I let a woman know that I that I wanted to fuck was that I'd be out at a bar and I would just be talking to the woman next to me and say, you know, so what are you looking to get into tonight? Now, I would ask her that and she's like, oh, I'm just hanging out with some friends or whatever. And she'd be like, how about you? And I said, I'm looking to fuck tonight. Mm -hmm. The one thing right. I would tell women is I'm. Tonight is fuck night for me. I'm fucking mm -hmm. like, like I've been working all week and now it's time to fuck. So, you know, basically just put it out there. You don't have to necessarily tell her that you want to fuck her. You could basically say, you know, mm -hmm. I, I'm here to fuck. I'm here to fuck some lucky lady tonight. That's what I'm right. here to do. So right. that kind of vibe is the vibe you want to get off, give off. And at that point, you could present her the opportunity. You could say, so listen, check this out. Why don't you spend a little bit more time with your girls? Get your fixed in. Here's my number. Mm -hmm. Hit me up at midnight and we'll, and, and we'll, and we'll get it popping. So that's one way you could present it if you don't want to be that direct. Now, I've told women that you know I want to fuck them. At, at mm -hmm. the age of 21, before I even knew dating coaches existed, I mean, I just, I, I, I've always wanted to go after what I wanted without fear. That's just been in my blood. But if you want to say it in that fashion, you could say like, yo, I, I'm, I'm out tonight to fuck somebody. To mm -hmm. give, I'm, I'm here to give women orgasms tonight. That's what I'm on tonight. That's man it. Shit. Man shit. That's man well, shit. I've been called a nice guy for a lot of times. So I'm trying to really change where I'm winning and how I'm trying to. Because I used to just be around the bush and stuff like that. But like, I know that some on there have been receptive, but then there's some just playing games. There's mm. some that I know that there's some that I know that they they're not interested, you know. Like you said, but like I'm just like I said, like I'm not really getting a lot of reception off of there. I'm trying to see like what should I change it up on social media or what? Like So let me let me ask you a question. Uh uh how many what you said some women were receptive. What 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 did what happened with the receptive chicks? Well, okay, some of them would be like 
And then whenever I said, well, let me get it going or whatever, like, give me your number or whatever, we can set that up. Now, 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 let me say this to this gentleman real quick, real fast. You don't sound confident to me. Like, there's nothing about right. your voice that sounds like you're a man of business. Like, you're a man that means business. So that's the most important thing. As a matter of fact, I'm doing a coaching call tonight with the gentleman that hired me for to teach him how to speak, like the tone of voice to use. And, like, mm -hmm. it's how you say it to a woman, too. It's mm -hmm. how you say it, how you mm -hmm. look at her and how you say it to her. So you can't be like, so yeah, uh, tonight, uh, I think uh, I'm a fuck somebody. <laughs> like, no, you need to be like, tonight, I worked all week, and mm. I'm about to fuck somebody and have a good ass time tonight. Do you want it to be you? Like, it has to be that kind of energy. And mm. then even if she says like, no, you still say, all right, well, check this out. The night is still young. I know you're not used to being spoken to like that. But here's my number and get mm -hmm. at me if you change your mind. Hopefully you don't lose your spot. That kind of energy is right. that right. that's the kind of energy you oh, must right. have. That's I love that shit. Are y'all writing this shit the fuck down? Exactly. Right? I love that shit. <laughs> so so caller. You don't lose your spot, bitch. <laughs> so 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 caller, to 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 piggyback off what EO was saying, Yo. when you say something to a woman, mm. say it assertively with conviction. Yep. Like mm. you believe it. Because mm -hmm. if you don't believe it, the bitch won't believe it. Mm -hmm. Right. And and also it's good, it's good to have an actual conversation. Cause like EO was saying, where he was like, look, he's talk, he's actually talking to the girl. You understand? So you could do it on text, but it's it's I feel like it's even more effective through conversation, through either you FaceTiming her or you're talking to her on the phone. So then so what I would say to you, what I would suggest to you is when you're online. Get the get the girl's information and say, hey, let's let's talk on the phone real quick. Let's FaceTime. Once you get on the phone, be like, listen, this is what I want to do. Let's, and then you start talking about that. You see what I'm saying? Because it's yeah. the thing is that it's going to be more uh, she'll be more receptive to it because she can hear the tone of your voice. But also you can hear the tone of her voice. You can see how she's reacting to what you're saying, which will make it easier for you to navigate and make this shit happen. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. And one last thing let me tell the fellas, too is you have to be courteous to women when you're presenting like this. So like if, it, if it's like 11 o'clock at night and you see a chick that you want to fuck, mm -hmm. like tell her, like, check this out. What I want you to do is go have fun with your girls for about another hour or two. Mm -hmm. Dance, have fun, get your girlfriend fixed. And then when you're done with that, mm -hmm. I want you to excuse yourself for the night and call me and come see me. So right. instead of trying to consume her time and trying to get her to derail her plans, be courteous to her plans, give her instructions as to what you want her to do, and then get back to, to you at a certain time. That mm -hmm. shit goes a long ass way. And I've slayed a lot of women doing it just like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Are right. y'all motherfuckers taking notes? Exactly. For real. We <laughs> niggas lazy out with, with, with a million dollars worth of game in five minutes. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, all right, caller. All right, man. Appreciate the call, brother. And, and let me, right. let me, let me, and let me say this to the caller and other people: mm. How what we were just saying, most women aren't used to that from men. They're right. used to men pussyfooting and bullshit. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Facts. Facts. All right. Let me get to this call. Let's see who this is. Hold on. God damn. You. Yo, what's poppin'? Who this? Yo, y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> Yo, what's poppin'? Who this? Yo, what's good? What's going on? Yo, what's up with y'all? Yo, can you hear us? Can you hear me? Yo, tell him to mute his computer. He's trying to watch it while he asks a question. That's what's up. That's what's up. So what's good with you? I had a couple questions. Well, a statement and a question. So my question is just, um, I know you talked about um, how to have sex with, you know, two women a day about having a business card. So mm -hmm. I'm not a business owner. So I'm just, I saw that you could buy just, you know, cards and join on Amazon. So are you talking about just like having your name and number? You got no business? What do you, what do you do? What do, What's your thing? Do, do you have a hobby? Do you have anything you like to do in your life? Uh, not much. I'm just chilling, yo. Just, you know, I just watch the sports, video games, bullshit. You know, I 
I mean, like that. And what, what do you do for work? Uh, I do, like, logistics, basically, like, back office, emails, bullshitting. Okay, so what you could do is, if since, you know, since, you know, you're not doing anything significant that you're passionate about, which it sounds like, you're just kind of working, yeah. just get, just have a card, have your name, your, uh, you, you have, like, Instagram, anything like that? All right, so put your name and your number, you feel what I'm saying, and your email. That's it. You feel what I mean? That's what you got to do. So just basically have that on you for them cases. Right. You got much time, boom, here, take the number down or whatever. Right, right. That's it. I got you. So also the only thing I wanted to say also was that, um, you know, the girls are getting it in, you know. I've been in quarantine for being like three or four bitches. And they getting in, you know, they driving an hour and a half to come fuck. So mm-hmm. For all the, you know, everybody out there and stuff, they getting it in for sure. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Still out here fucking, you know, for sure. That's what's up. Mostly online, though. I, I know it's still a little difficult with the masks and everything, you know, trying to holler at that game, but you can do it. But mostly online game is still working for sure. Right. Nah, real talk. Real talk. I appreciate the call, my brother. All right. Yeah, thank you guys, man. All right. Be safe. Well, we all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You. You. Yo, what's going on? It's Rep. Indiana. What up? What's good with y'all? Chilling. Hey, yo, shout out to Miles. Yo. Okay, so I can shout out you out. All right. What's up, bro? Um, to get on the topic of, you know, the code approach and you know what I'm saying, and, uh, you know, the human signal. I think it's interesting how EO said that most of the time when a chick is giving him, even though she's a signal that she turns out to be all the bullshit. And I find that kind of interesting because most of the time when I approach a chick that's uh, giving me shoes and signals, I end up finding out that she tends to be a chick that's insecure. Mm. That's sex. I just approached a chick the other day on a walk. And before I walked up to her, I noticed that she, like, stopped and, like, tried to make sure her hair was good, you know what I'm saying, and, like, pull up her leggings and this and that. And then when I approached her, she got all nervous and shit, and I, like, said what I said, and I was like, yo, let me get your number so we can get together in the future. And she was just like, oh, I don't give up my number, I'm sorry, you know, like, all right, it's what it is, you know what I'm saying, I kept it moving. Mm. But, yeah, I thought that shit was interesting, though. What y'all think about that? Yeah, I, I, I would say this about that because like women change their mind so often they could hear like a Drake song or a song they like and now they're in a good mood for like three minutes 45 seconds mm. so like that put her in a mood for like three minutes and she now she wants to choose up but then another wave of emotions hits her from that happened earlier in the day and now she no longer wants to choose up like mm-hmm. so it's like you have to understand that if you are waiting on a woman to throw you a hook you're going you're waiting on bullshit <laughs> right, right. No bullshit. I mean, I understand why dudes say that. I do understand why they say that because they're, they're they're basically saying that if you're high value, then the woman's basically gonna submit to you. She's mm. essentially submitting to you when she's choosing you. But that's mm-hmm. not always the case because women change their mind all the time. Women always have men on the side. Every woman you're talking to right now has a multiple men she's talking to, whether in on Instagram, social media, text mm. message, whatever. So you are not the only one. So, mm. you know, for me, I just look at it like this. I'm creating this entire scenario from scratch. It's it's up to me to create it. And at and, and here's the beautiful part of being the creator is that at any given time, you could scratch your creation. Mm. Right. And, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's, it's, it's just true. Real talk, real talk, real talk. Hey, yo, that's all I want to answer the situation, but, yo, I appreciate y'all taking the call. All right, man. Appreciate you calling in, bro. All right. All right. Yeah, man. That's some real shit. All right. Let me see what else is on there. We'll take a few more calls. And then we got to head up out of here. Yo. Hold on. Yo, what's going on? What's up, bro? It's Victor from Texas. What up? To the show, uh, I always do cold approach, but I get into these situations where it seems like there's too much people and the, the chick is gonna shut me down, you know, off the bat. 
I was listening to one of the bad boy programs that said, you know, you got to isolate the chickens with the friends in mm. terms of like what they're going to think of her and stuff. Mm. So I feel it's the same way, like when you're doing day game, you're mm. on the, in the market or some shit. If, there's, if it's too crowded, she automatically is going to just say, no, you know, I'm good or I'm at work. What do you think about that? No, this is the thing. If if a oh. woman is if a woman is with her friends, you understand what I'm saying? She may act a little hesitant or act funny based on the situation, right? If she's by herself though, and there's people around that she don't know, she she ain't gonna give a fuck. You understand what I'm saying? So it it just depends on the context. You see what I mean? So you got to understand uh, how you are how you're attacking certain situations in a certain context. You see what I mean? But either way, whether she's with her friends, whether she's out, you know, by herself, whatever it is, you still can go and approach, talk to her, interact with her and and, and do that exchange. You see what I'm saying? So it's just, it's just more beneficial ways to do it in certain situations or certain circumstances than others. But uh, Kate Baggin, look like he wanted to say something. Yeah, let me say this, bro. Number one, I don't know why you guys always get tripped up over a woman in the group. Let's talk to the whole group. Right. When you when you first walk up, you say, "Ladies, how you doing this evening?" Talk to the whole group. Okay? Right. W one of the biggest reasons you want to do that because those chicks don't want to be left out, and they're gonna turn into a bunch of cock black and ass holes and shit. So you talk to the whole group. Hold on, caller. Hold on, caller. Hold on, caller. Okay, Zach, talk, you going? Talk to the whole group because the woman you may be interested in may not be interested mm -hmm. in you, but other women in that group who may look just as good, if not better than her, might be feeling you. Mm -hmm. But because you're so fixated and focused on that one chick. You're not paying attention to everything going on around you. And let me just right. say this. Let me tell you a quick story um, real quick. Because you you, you seem to be concerned about motherfuckers looking at you and all that other shit. Bro, <laughs> one time I went to a nightclub by myself, dolo, right? Mm. As I'm walking through the nightclub, caller, I saw two chicks. They were together. They were friends. Mm. Okay? As I'm walking by them, I'm looking back at them. They turn around and look back at me. So I said, fuck it. So I walked over and I started talking to them. After I introduced myself to them, at some point I asked them this. Or something to this effect. It was a long time ago. I said, ladies, so after the club let out tonight, what you ladies getting into? And both of them answered, we're going to do whatever you're doing. So I said, fuck it. If it's like that, let's leave right now. Mm. So I left with both of them and fuck both of them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so so, so you, don't, you never know what can happen unless you put yourself out there for shit to happen. A lot of dudes are so fucking scared. And, you, and you're before you even approach the woman, you're all in your head about all these different things that can go wrong. Motherfucker, if you start worrying about that shit, imagine what can go right. Right. That's all I got, bro. That's facts, K Zag, and that's facts. And another thing, when you're actually, I got like two things that I use that I do when I approach mm. women in groups. If I like one of the the girls, I'll hit her last. So what mm. I'll do is I'll introduce myself to all the other women that I don't want to fool up with. Just to kind of get on their good side just for a hot minute. Right, exactly. Women, women will throw a wrench in your whole program if you don't at least give them some attention and mm. compliment them at the same time. I'd be like, everybody looks real nice tonight. You put in that extra effort tonight. And when I go get to the girl I really want on the lat, the last one, I will go in her ear. I'll actually go in her ear and say, you know, I really came here for you. Don't tell them, but here's my card right here. Hit me up. Hit me up in an hour. Let's go have a drink. So mm. I'll do it like that. And then right. here's another thing. You might be going, you might have started off with chick on the right, the last one, but once you got to the one in the middle, she looked at you a certain way. And now you're like, okay, this is the one I'm gonna go with because she's looked, she gave me that look. So you you started off wanting the girl maybe on the right, but because of the look she gave, you just said, Okay, it's gonna be her instead. Mm. So you gotta have that kind of awareness. Right. Real talk. Mm. Yep. All right. Uh, bro, what I'm talking about is like at the store, bro. Like, there's, I'm not really going to clubs because, you know, because of the COVID shit. But, like, at the store, it feels like if it's too crowded, she's going to just be shy and say no. What are your thoughts? Who, who's going to be shy and say no? Like the chick. Which, who's, who's this chick? She a random She a random chick? Yeah, random, oh. random chick at the store. Maybe she's working there. No, no, no. No, that's what I'm saying. Is she a random chick? Is she a customer or is she working? Okay, there's two this it's two different situations. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, uh Miles, go ahead. What were you saying? Has has any of this has any of this actually happened to you before? Oh, say it again, Miles. Has any of this actually happened to you before? Yeah, some of them have, some of them have. 
What? So it seems like it seems like you're you're worried about shit that hasn't happened yet. You said some of it has, some of it hasn't. Why? Mm -hmm. it, it seems like you're you're leading into these situations with the thought that something bad is going to happen. I think that's like the basis of your problem. You mm -hmm. need to you need to start having a, a more positive outlook on what will happen, and then maybe maybe the positive things will happen. Like stop focusing stop focusing on if if she say no or if that bad thing will happen or that don't happen. Stop worrying about all that other shit, bro. Just focus on what you want. And that's it. What's that? Is that you in the background with all that noise? Where you at? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, your joint is going crazy. We have to let you go. But yeah, man, just you know what I'm saying. You just gotta. He's overthinking the shit too much. Super overthinking it. Right. So, <laughs> so the call number guy six four six four eight one three nine zero one. All right. Let's see who this is. Yo, what's popping? What's going on? You, you. Yo, um, I'm calling because um, you were telling me one last, I think two calls ago, you were telling him about because I was straight forward with a chick, and I told a chick that to, I met her online, I told her to come over and stuff like that, and she's down to come over, but she, when she quickly said, um, we're not gonna have sex. The first is for sex. We ain't gonna be having sex, and I'm trying to, um. I'm trying to sway her, talk to her. I think she's in the middle. Well, I think she do want to come. She do want to fuck, but but at the same token, too, she's trying to say some type of funny shit with me. But you think I'm still trying to talk to her as far as convince her to come over? It's better be. So you said you said that you want this girl to come over, and you told her you want to have sex, and she said she said I'll come. Not gonna lie, no, she did. I know. She, I asked her to come through, and she asked me, so we were. We're gonna do. I said we're gonna hang out and chill, eat some food. You know what I mean? I'm, but I did mention she was like, um, so I won't come over guys' house because I'm not trying to have sex. I'm like, come on. I'm like, well, you want no sucking? I have to, cause I'm feeling. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so you want to have sex with her, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So why didn't you tell her you want to have sex? Well, tell her you're you're. Well, tell her. Listen, I'm trying to have sex. So, if you want to do that, then you're welcome to come over. But if you're if you're not comfortable with that or you don't want to do that, then just holler at me when you're ready to make it happen. You see what I'm saying? And don't call her no more after that. Let her hit you up. Say it again. No, 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 no middle, no middle. She either trying to fuck or she not. There's no gray area in this shit, bro. The gray area leads you to rape charges, nigga. Fuck out of here. Or she's not. Fuck, fuck all that other shit. All y'all niggas be trying to get these bitches excuses. Fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. The game mm -hmm. is black or white. Like Miles saying, there is no gray area, bro. Don't do the gray area shit. Black or mm -hmm. white, yes or no. Because, see, this is what happens most times is that when it's a gray area, she'll come over, right? And you're thinking, oh, I'm going to try to have sex with her. And she'll be over there for three hours and and nothing fucking happens, and 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 then she bounces, and then you're like, damn, and then you're 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 feeling like, damn, I just wasted my time, or even worse, you try to make something happen, and then she feels like, oh, this this guy pressured me, I felt like I was taken advantage of, I got to tell my friends, and then her friends tell their friends, and now you got the cops at your door, talking about, you know, do, what what happened here? You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like. And the, and the one thing I say is, and, and, I, and I, I really need to stress this more on my channel because I'm noticing it's a big problem. Like dudes be sounding all punchy and shit when they be presenting these proposals to women. Like mm -hmm. you can't come off like punchy and shit. Like you got to like really say some shit like a man with the right tone of voice, mm -hmm. direct, say it like you fucking mean it. Mm -hmm. Like say it like you mean it. And, and, and that's when you're going to get the results you're looking for. But if you sound like punchy and shit, you know, like you just telling girls, you know what I'm saying? Like you got to watch how you say stuff. 
<laughs> like, like you gotta say it like a grown ass fucking man that knows exactly what he wants and let her have it mm. and let and let her respond and then whatever the response is if it's what you want make it happen if it's not what you want wish her a good day and it's that's the end of it that's the right. end of it. Right, because right now you 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 like you sound like you're not sure about what you what you want to exactly do. You see what I'm saying? And so, because you're like, oh, let's come and hang out, and then she she automatically is like, hey, I'm I'm, I'm not trying to fuck. You understand? Like she's being more direct than you're being. You see mm. what I'm saying? Like so, like Lacario, check this out, bro. I ask women like, how much do you like to suck dick? Right. I ask women that. Like, how much do you right. like a dick in your mouth? Do you, how do you love a dick in your mouth or not? I need to know that right now. Right. I, I ask women that, and if she's mm. like, "Yeah, if it's the right man, I love sucking dick." Mm. Boom! And now you could be in my life. If you tell me, "Well, I don't mm. know if I like sucking dick that much," bitch, you gotta go. I, mm. I, ain't, I ain't fooling up with that. You right. gotta suck my dick like it's the last. Like it's, you fucking love that shit. Mm. So that's the that's the energy you gotta bring women. Otherwise, you're gonna continually have this problem the right. tone's got to be right the presentation's got to be right everything's got to be right you got to say it like you mean it mm -hmm. close right. moms don't get fed motherfucker you got to speak the fuck up <laughs> let people know like, what you stop, want like stop being scared to to to, to tell the women what you want to do that's the thing stop being scared of that because i feel like because you 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 a lot of times you'll you you'll say it's like you beat around the bush too much because you've called plenty of times Saying the same type of thing, and you you stay well, beating around the bush. Well, let, let me let me let me let me let me ask the fellas this, Lucario. You had one night stands before? Yeah, of course. Okay, yeah. yo, you had one night stands before? Definitely. <laughs> okay, Miles, you had one night stands before? Yes, sir. So have I. How do y'all think that shit happened? Right. Y'all exactly. just walk into the place and then bitch of sauce and they drop their panties and fuck me now? No, <laughs> we had to go up, say some shit, let the woman know what what, what we want, and the woman right. like, I'm cool with it. Let's bounce. Mm -hmm. Come on, right, man. right, right. That's facts. <laughs> Any good sex I've ever had, I marinated that shit. She ain't bringing no good. No woman has ever brought me good sex. I bring her good dick and good, good vibes, good dialogue, and that's when she gives me good pussy. Everything, ever any sex that I've ever had that was the bomb. I was the director of that shit. Mm. Thank you, mm. thank you. Mm. Yeah, let me tell you something right now. Women don't know how to fuck. They really don't know how to fuck. You might find a few <laughs> here and there, but y'all are too worried about body counts for all that. But right. Like, but for, but for me, any what any great sex I ever had, it was because I had my foot on her neck and I, I everything I I did that shit. Right. She should have paid me when she left. Straight up. Let, let me say this. Have you ever been to like um uh, uh, a zoo or something and saw a, a lion being fed, being thrown to meat? Mm. You ever see that? That shit right. looks natural to the motherfucker, right? <laughs> you watch National Geographic and that motherfucker go hunt and bring down that zebra and eat that motherfucker. You be like, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. A lot of these dudes are fucking zoo kept lions and are hand fed by fucking the zookeepers. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, go out and hunt for your shit. Stop waiting to be fed. Go out and mm. go get that shit. And talk mm. about confidence. That's how you get true confidence is when you make shit happen. That, right. I hear it all the time about how do you get confidence, EO? How the fuck do you get confidence? Where mm. do you get confidence from? It's from making shit happen like a grown ass man. That's how you get confidence. Right. Which is exactly back to the topic. Why cold approach is, is the best option. Mm. See, let me tell you something. A lot of, a lot of, back to the, back to the topic real quick. A lot of these cats want to talk about the the success rate between cold approach and 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 uh choose the signal right right i'm not talking about the success rate mm. i'm talking about the best option that's mm. what i'm talking about and the reason why cold approach is the best option is because like eo said you're the one making it happen so you build confidence based on your experience right you know it's, it's like a video game when you get xp points you understand? For all you game mm. niggas out there, you get XP points, and that's when you level up. When you get mm. XP points, you don't fucking level up by not playing or by not dying or by not starting over at the last checkpoint. You understand what I'm saying? Choose a uh, cold cold approach is the best option because it it has to do with you. It has to do with your experience, your your development as a man, as a person. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Right. This is why? This is why? Because you build your character, you build your confidence. And you learn what works from what doesn't work. Facts. That's, that's facts, man. That's real shit. That's real facts. shit. All right, Koala, you got you got that? Yeah, I got it. I appreciate it. All right, bro. Amala. All right, let's take, we're gonna take one more call and then you gotta head up out of here. 
All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, yo, what's going on? No, the thing is, you have to make it clear what you want to do with her. You understand what I'm saying? So that when she's interacting with you, she's doing the thing. You see what I'm saying? So it's not about necessarily what she's saying. Because on, on a dating site, chicks will be like, oh, no hookups, yada, yada, yada. So let's say you match with that chick. I'm not necessarily paying attention to what she's saying on the actual app. I'm telling her what I want to do. Now we're actually in a conversation. So now once we have that conversation, it's like, hey, this is what I'm trying to do. And this is what I want to make happen. And let's make it happen. You feel what I mean? Either you with it or you're not. And then so if she's with it, yeah. based off of me saying it, then cool. But if she's not, that's also cool. But I, I'm, I don't necessarily like leave it up to them or or sort of like, you know, just see that like a chick says no hookups on her on her app and then take that as face value. I'm still going to say what I'm saying. You feel what I mean? And then have her interact with me based off of what I'm talking about. You see what I mean? Let, let, and let me say this about that no hookup. See, mm -hmm. brother like Vicario, EO, Miles, myself, and other dudes, when we see that, we be like, that's for them other niggas. I'm fucking. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck what she got to say. Mm -hmm. um, Mike Tyson once said, everyone has a game plan until they get hit in the mouth. Right. Okay? <laughs> a woman can have a game plan about no hookups, and then the right dude come along and say the right shit, and she be like, well, I meant no hookups for the rest of them, but for you? Exactly, you right? <laughs> Simple as that. Yeah. Yo. Right. Right. Well, yeah, that's the thing. You got to definitely make sure that, you know, you saying what you're saying and then have them respond to that. You feel me? And check this out. And women, it's like women want everything in the world. Like women want everything. They want a husband. They want a side dude. They want they, you know, they want a caretaker. They want a beta male. They want an alpha. Like women want everything, bro. Like mm. they're going to tell you a different story all the time. You can't mm. even listen to what they fucking want to do. You just got to be on your program. And that's it. That yeah. That's it. That's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. and then, okay, and then real quick, the guy I was talking about, the store, I don't know where the fuck he's going, brother. The store is like my favorite spot, bro. Like, you can go get a half inch box of strawberry, it's so easy. And it's like, they don't give a fuck who's around, they're going to be focused on you talking to them. Just mm -hmm. like when you're in the fucking store and you're shopping, I'm paying attention to everybody's fucking around you. No, you're not. You could be in the fucking aisle, you be in the fucking tortilla aisle, and you got something like, oh, this tacos tonight? Right. Tacos that good. You know what I'm saying? So the store to me is my favorite spot, bro. I'll go get a fucking uh, steak uh, and some new ass in the same day. Mm -hmm. now I feel you, bro. I feel All you right, on that. All right, bro. Appreciate the call, my brother. All right, man. Peace, peace. All right, people. Uh, hold on. Let me shout out some of the, the people sending donations. Shout out to my dude, David, with the $10 donation. Shout out to my dude, uh, Tariq, with the $10 donation. Shout out to my dude, Nez, with the do donation. Shout out to everybody else who was sending donations that I mentioned before. Um, so yeah, we it's, it's about that time. So everybody, everybody, shout out your your you know channels, all that other good stuff. All right. Let's go. Yeah, uh, hey, it's good to have. Thanks for having me on, Lucario. It's always a pleasure to be on with you and Miles and K Zagan. It's uh, it's always a pleasure. So champion game coach EO, come over and subscribe. It, it's not easy. It, it's not it's not easy. The material is not easy. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it gets a little deep. But if if you consider it, to, you do the work, uh, you're going to see results. I can guarantee it. And uh, website, if you want to learn a little bit more about me, teamchampiongame.com. And also, uh, you can follow me on Instagram. I just got on there about a month and a half, two months ago. And that's uh, uh, Champion Game Coach EO. So thank you. That's what's up. Yo, check me out at uh, Miles in the Game on Instagram. Uh, check out the Miles Cunningham YouTube uh, page. It's Miles. Space Cunningham, and that's M I L E S because a lot I see a lot of cats always putting the M Y. So right. Miles, as in distance. Mm. Uh, 
because I got my name from fucking a bitch for way too long. And <laughs> this nigga. That's, it's the true fucking story, I swear. <laughs> no, I, I believe you. That's why I'm laughing. I believe you. <laughs> true story. But anyway, so that's Miles as in distance and in space and in Cunningham. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, check me out, man. Check me out. Thanks mm -hmm. for Sorry for putting me on. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Uh, so go, go ahead, K Zag. Uh, all right. So K Zag and Twenty. Just put in K Zag and Twenty <clears throat> on uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook. It's Kerry K E R R Y, which is my real first name, and then K Zag without the twenty. Just Kerry K Zag on Facebook. That's what's up. That's what's up. And guys, make sure you check me out on Instagram at at Real Mister Locario. Hit me up on Instagram. Also hit me up on. The Bad Boy Membership. Go to badboymembership.com so you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. You feel what I'm saying? So man, I appreciate everybody tuning in. We got 242 people. Make sure you guys get those likes up. You feel what I'm saying? Appreciate every single one of y'all rocking with us. And um, I'll probably be back maybe tomorrow. Who knows? We'll, we'll see what's, what's, what's going on. You feel me? So I'm going to holler at you guys later. And you guys have a good night. Remember the truth is inside you. Peace. We gone. Yeah. All right. All right.